hello and welcome to another exciting one today we are going to continue from the bulb modeling tutorial we did where we model this nice looking bulb from scratch with beautiful um quads and all that if you've not watched our video i recommend you do that right away but today we are going to focus on the materials how to add cool and nice materials and then create a very nice composition and then render our final scene so let's jump right into it so first you can download this model from the description below if you want to follow along so first we're going to give it three materials we have one for the glass like part of the bulb and then the plastic parts and then finally the metallic part right so let's quickly set up our scene and then add in our materials and lights afterwards so to set up our scene as usual you come to the side drag to create another scene that's where our camera is going to be and then we will bring this scene here and this will be for our shader editor so i'll change it to shader editor and then i'll click on my camera to bring my camera to view like this so as you can see the camera is somewhere here Let me click on it and bring my camera to view. I'm going to change the output, the resolution of the X to 1080 so that we have a square like this 1080 by 1080. I'll hit on N once again, go to my view and then lock my camera to view. And then now I can drag till I see my objects in place like this right so next let's add in a background so we do shift a mesh then a plane then we'll bring our plane back like this r to rotate it on the x axis at 90 and then we do s to scale it up like this okay we can select and position let's scale our plane up even more to this point okay so next what we have to do is um let's come here and then change to this view here sorry let me just delete this one for a second so we change to this view here that's what we are going to have and then make sure it's set to cycles and then the device is set to gpu compute so that we have something like this so next in our shader editor let's change it from object to world and then let's add in an hdri okay so let me select the background now i hit ctrl plus t to bring up this environment station node right our image is pink because we don't have any image right now so i'll hit on open and then i'll locate where i saved my hdris you can download some from hdri haven just locate where you save them and then double click to import them inside your scene now let's increase the strength up a bit so our image is visible so we can set the strength to one for now we're going to change it later okay sorry let me just delete all the materials real quick uh, let's continue so we are going to start from this side right so first let's add in the material to our bob like shape so we select the shape then we hit on new to create a new material right so for this let's make sure the base color is pure white and then we change the roughness down to something like this 0.1 and then we add in some emission so we change the emission emission color to one so that you see our bob is glowing then we change the strength to let's say let's say this right 0.12 and then we change the ir to 1.5 okay we can increase the clear code to one and then we have our cool emissive bulb surface like this okay so we are going to add in some lighting in to to increase the reflections later so let's let's continue so next let's select our our plastic part and then hit on new to create a new material for the plastic we are just going to decrease the roughness to 0.2 this 0.2 will do and then we increase the clear coat to one 
and then we change the base color to pure white like this i think that's cool for us we are done so next let's go to the metallic part i'll select it and then hit on new and then as usual we're going to increase the metallic to one and then we decrease the roughness to something like this we can add in this anisotropic a bit so let's add in something like this bits just to add in some anisotropic coolness to it and then we can just change the base color to white or just leave it where it is like this so basically we are done with the materials that's how simple and easy it is so next let's create our scenes so to do that we're just going to group this bob into one um into one object and then duplicate it around and then we add in some depth of field to create a cool and nice looking scene right so now let's just select this bob hold shift select and then shift select then make sure we hold shift and then select make sure we have this as the active object and then we do control plus p and then we we keep we set parents and then we keep objects transform right so now we've parented everything this one this one this one to this so if i rotate this all of the other objects will be rotated as well so now let's create a bunch of duplicates inside our scene so i'll select these two shift d then create a duplicate shift d duplicate shift d duplicate you can create as many as you want Make sure you save your blender file in case blender try to crash on you shift d duplicate shift d duplicate so you can create as many duplicates as you want i think this is fine for now so next all i i'm going to do is rotate each individual object to create a very nice and appealing um, scene. so i'll just select this middle part tap double r and then i'll be able to rotate it to however i want quickly rotate all the objects in the scene so that the rotation seemed very random just play around with it you can if any object um, doesn't feel well distributed you can just bring it back into the scene and then um distribute it well then rotate it to the heart's content right let's have fun with it adding some cool rotation just always reference your image to see if everything is properly aligned just how you want it right so i think i'm cool with this i'll just click this one and bring it forward a bit so that we make this our main point of reference to the our main point of interest so let's just um you can take your time to position each object in the scene as you see fit like this so this is fine for me i'm going to go ahead and then add in adding depth of field to our camera so let's select our camera here go to our camera view and then depth of field select this icon and then click on this object here then let's increase decrease the the f-stop so we find something like this All right so this main object is the one in 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 view and then the rest of them are bled nicely like this okay so next let's add in a custom light so let's go to our object world view and then let's decrease the light to 0.1 for now and then let's add in our own custom lights to make our scene even more beautiful so let's do shift a and then lights we add in area lights for the start and i'll so here's our lights let's do g and then bring it somewhere here rotate it till it's facing our main object then we do s to scale it up and then we can increase the power inside our light properties so let's increase the power to let's say 100 for now and yeah so we have this nice light here 
you can still increase the power to let's say 150 right so next we can dupl let's duplicate the slice shift c and then bring it to the side okay and then r to rotate it on the z axis until it's facing this part of our light and then we can scale it can scale it on the one side then rotate it like this or uh, first let's just delete this light and then add in a new one shift a light area g then let's bring it to this side then let's scale it on the x axis until it's nice and thin like this and then let's rotate it on the y axis 90 till it's facing this side then we can bring it forward like this increase the strength to 100 and then we can rotate it so it's facing our main objects like this we can change the color for this light so that we create some nice interesting cool warm looking feel and then lastly let's just duplicate this light g and then bring it down and then we can position it here and then we can decrease the power to 100 so this part is truly up to you just play around with it have fun with the lights the positioning of the object till everything looks nice and beautiful so once we are done it's time for us to render so we we'll come to our our this render properties and then to the color management and then let's change the look to let's say very high contrast it's nice for me hide these two just to see my my render in view like this and then i think this is a bit too bright so let's just select it go to our object and then decrease the roughness a bit so we have something like this yeah nice you can still create more duplicates if you if you think it is small so shift d duplicate then rotate it in our scene as you see fit yeah so finally let's go to our render render image and then hit render to render our final scene thank you very much for watching i hope you learned something from it please don't forget to subscribe if you haven't liked the video if you loved it see you on the next one it's my friend peace out